This week's Farm Basics is brought to you by SatShot.com. Satellites aren't just for NASA anymore. Use the power of satellite imagery to create variable rate management zones in your fields. To reduce input costs and increase yields on your farm, go to SatShot.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk a little bit about what's going on below ground in soils. And for farmers, in order to find that out, we think it's really important that every farmer out there digs a root pit in a field or two of his each year. We do it on our farm each year, so we wanted to talk about exactly why we do it and what we find out down below ground. Well, it's easy to go out into fields and diagnose things that are happening above ground when you say, oh, here's a leaf disease or here's uh, some damage from some hail or something like that. But a lot of times, the problems that we're seeing above ground could be a cause of what's happening below ground with the root system. Maybe we've got some short and stunted plants. It's tough to tell what's going on without digging below to see, oh, we've got a compaction problem, or oh, we have real shallow soil profile here and there's rock underneath. Well, that's the whole thing. More than a cause of what's going on, it's the result of what's going on below ground. In other words, if the farmer doesn't do a good job with everything below the surface of the soil, what's gonna happen above the surface of the soil is not going to be good. What we wanted to show you today is if you dig one of these root pits, and we're talking about digging down about four feet in the ground or so, we do it with a skid steer loader on our farm. It only takes about an hour to dig a root pit and do it nice. We can really see all these things like Darren's getting at, rocks, compaction, how deep the roots are really going, where the soil profile changes. You can see worm holes, you see all kinds of things below ground, but the most important thing that we always want to look at is what is really happening with our roots? Are they long? Do they have lots of hairs on them? Are we getting full maximum potential out of our crop? below ground. Unfortunately, in most cases, we're not. That's why we continue to work on this year after year. One of the major things that we see is compaction layers. Say a farmer's doing some tillage out there to work his plant residue underneath the soil surface or to control some weeds, some of those different purposes, or just preparing the ground for planting. If you're doing some sort of tillage, it's real easy to run into a compaction layer just beneath the depth of your tillage. And for farmers, sometimes you need to go out and visually see this with a root pit to say, oh yeah, okay, I knew it was wrong, but boy, it really makes sense to me now that I can see it. And it could be the same for you, even if you're a non-farmer, you say, well, I don't need to dig a root pit, all I've got's a lawn. Well, even in your lawn, you may see some problem areas where grass doesn't grow very well. Dig down in the ground. Yeah, even if you've got some grass out there, just dig a little bit and see what's going on underneath. Well, talking about this compaction thing just a little bit more, just so we're clear on this, what it is is basically a compaction layer is a layer of soil that roots cannot penetrate through. And when we're in, down in the root pit, we'll usually take a knife at the side of the root pit and pull that up. And when we pull so hard and we still can't pull through that soil, that's a hard compaction layer. So if we, uh, supposedly big strong guys with a knife can't pull through it. Imagine a tiny little plant sticking its little root out there. There's no way it can get through. So that is a bad thing and that's something we're trying to avoid. But you know, as a farmer, you don't really think, oh, we've got major compaction issues until you dig a root pit and until you run that knife yourself. And there's nothing that, that impresses it in your brain more than when you take that knife and run it up and hit that hard compaction layer and you can't budge it. At that point, you know, hey, maybe I need to do something different with my soil. Well, at this point in the summer too, when things start to dry out in many parts of the country, you may see some spots in the field that are showing drought stress symptoms sooner than other areas areas of the field, many times it's due to a compaction layer where the roots just can't get down to where that moisture is. So there's so many reasons why you may want to dig a root pit on your farm. We would strongly recommend it. We do so on our farm every year. Well, another thing we do every year is scout for weeds, especially our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 